Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Silvercrest robot vacuum cleaner with a mop function 2 in 1 mop and vacuum in 1 Easy cleans hard to reach areas for hard floors and low pile carpets Many accessories included at the box, we're gonna find out together one by one 3 years warranty Some other key features 2 side brushes for efficient cleaning Automatically returns to the charging station Drip proof water tank with a 300 ml max capacity, easy to empty, washable dust container with 10 sensitive anti collision sensors and 3 anti fall sensors. Can also be controlled via remote control, 6 clean modes auto, random cleaning mode, spot, spiral shape cleaning with a maximum suction power, corners cleans along edges, max maximum suction. Schedule it cleans according to the programming cleaning schedule. Mop mode wet cleaning with a microfiber cloth. Battery Leon 2400 million 14.4 volt for up to 120 minutes of cleaning. Suction is up to 12 kPa and charging time 4 to 6 hours. Well, nice on that. Let's open it to see what we have inside. Of course, I'm going to test it to see how it can perform in a variety of areas at the home, at the carpet, at the tiles, thin carpet, less thin carpet. With all that tests, we are going to reach in a conclusion if it's worth the 149 euros this robot vacuum cleaner. There's the manual. Inside, if you want to read it, it's your choice, but stay with me, we're going to find out all about this product. Let's see the accessories. We've got the power adapter. 19 volt, 0.6 amp, 11.4 watt. The charging base. Another two replacement side brushes. The remote control. The water tank. From 50 ml to 250 ml. Please uh, take out the water tank during charging. You can refill the water from here. Handle. A replacement filter. At the base here we can connect the power adapter. Two metal contact blades there getting in touch with the main unit and start charging. Cleaning brass. Microfiber cloth. Now at the main unit, we've got the start pause button, the spot mode button, the home mode button, return to charging dock. And there is the cover, inside we're going to find out the dust collector, and we've got on the handle, it will help you to take it out. And if you want to clean it, it's very easy. And inside we've got the primary filter, take out and clean it. And the high performance filter and we've got another replacement here all that you can clean it you can wash it and clean it nice i can say it feels very nice in my hand very good manufacturer well let's insert it again inside now let's check from the other side here are the side brushes, the side wheels, and the front wheel rotates 360. And here's the suction opening, it will take all the dust inside of the container. And here at the unit we've got three anti-drop sensors. And of course the microfiber cloth, you can take it out and replace it with a new and more clean. Of course you can wash it at your uh, washing machine 80 percent polyester 20 percent uh, hinlon wash it under 40 celsius maximum now let's turn from the other side and here you can see the power switch on off 
and the socket uh, for charging. That means you can charge it directly with the adapter at this charging port connected and you don't have to use the base if you don't want. If you are going to use the base, there are the two contact blades. They are coming in touch with the contact blades at the base and is charging. Here is the anti-collision sensor and the bumper. Now, at the remote control, let's take this out, we need two 3A batteries. Are not included at the box. Now here we've got the display, we've got the forward, backwards, uh, left and right, increasing, decreasing speed, pause, resume, the spot mode, the max mode, the set schedule button, the home mode button, return to the charging dock, and the corner mode button. Nice. Of course we are going to test it to see how it works. Now let's plug the base of the power and let's turn it on. Base plugging in, we've got the green light. Now let's turn it on. Green light at the buttons. And I think it's trying to go to the base for charging. And it's charging. We can see it's flashing a yellow light. Okay, we can see green light at the start and pause button. That means it's fully charged after five and a half hours. Now we need to set up at the remote control the time. Just press this button is flashing up and down for the hours. Next for the minutes and press again the time. And you can hear a sound at the vacuum, that means it's synchronizing the remote control with the vacuum. And as you can see, it's turning off because I didn't do anything, it goes to the sleep mode. Press again the start button, once it will wake up, and then another one, it will start in auto mode. And it will start. Now, we need to pause it because I'm going to start the test only for uh, the dust collection. That's why we need to take out the adapter for mapping. Very easy, just pull it, we can take it out and then for holes you can insert it again. We are going to try and that at the mapping test. And I have placed two objects at the middle of the space just to see how it's working.
Okay, now, if I'm going to press uh, this button for the fan, it will increase. It's quite loud. It has two speeds. This is the low and the maximum. When it's going to the carpet, the noise is getting lower. And again, low and high. Let's put it on low. Now, let's pause it. And then we're going to try the button for the corners. And you can see it's moving slowly, it's trying to go to the corners, around, because it knows the chair it's like a corner. And it's moving with the wall, only at the corners. Great, let's pause it. And now I think it's the time to test the suction power. Now I will start by putting some rise on the carpet and on the tiles, of course. I got some bread around. And some lentils. And I think we've got enough mess here at the carpet. And at the tiles. And I will uh, guide the vacuum with these uh, ba four buttons up, down, left, and right. Because now we need to test the suction power. Resume again and starting with the up hour forward. And because we've got too much and it stops instantly after five seconds with a manual control and because we've got too much dirt we can put it on uh, maximum the suction there we are And when it hits something, it stops automatically.
Well, I think for that kind of amount of dirt, definitely is doing a great job, as you can see. It has cleaned all the area very good. Yep, with no problem. Thumbs up. And that was the manual operation. Now we've got more dirt on the ground and I would like to try the spot mode. Here it is this button. And it will turn around of himself in the same spot. He's moving around, around. And as he's moving, he's getting a bigger circle. And that's how it can clean better. And we can process more at the front, stop, and then we can push again the button for the spot mode, and it will clean further. And after a minute it will stop automatically now let's check what we have at the container what kind of dirt oh <laughs> Whoa, that is full yep take out the mess of course you can wash it you can clean in that yep <laughs> too much let's see the filter the filter is very clean but from inside it has a dirt, nothing is uh, passing through the filter, great. If you want, you can take the brass, clean it inside. Same, and the filter. And now it is a mapping time. Let's clean it inside. You can clean it with a brush, but for more easy. There's the water tank. Take this out. Here we've got the outlet. Don't charge this unit at the base with a water tank inside. We can see it's about 150 ml. If you want, you can uh, put more. If there are any waters around, just clean it. Now, before installing, of course, you need to install down here the mapping adapter. And now we can insert the water tank. But before starting the mopping, you need to clean all the area free dust with this vacuum and then start the mopping process. And let's resume. And he knows it is a mopping uh, day and that's why it is going very slow. And I can see we've got some water at the tiles. Yep.
And of course you can pause and work with the spot mode. And it will try to clean around the area by mopping. And again, stop, resume. You cannot use the low or high fan, it has only one speed. Pause again, and you can use the button for the corners. Well, I can see my floor is very shiny, clear, it is wet and clear go to all the corners now and pause and let's see oh yeah we've got some dirt let's take this adapter out some rise before the dust cleaning and if you want to wash it, just take it out and wash it. Very easy. Of course, by pressing the home button, you can see and at the unit it is green. It will start to searching for his base and going for charging. Well, thank you for your assistance, Robo Vacuum. I think you have made a great job. Definitely, it can clean your space. You have seen what it can do. Too much dirt, too much mess, and it has cleaned very well. And it's mopping very good. My space, my tiles are very clear, very clean. Two things I don't like. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi connectivity. It cannot connect to your Wi-Fi network. You cannot see it from your smartphone. You can only control it from the remote control. And second thing, it is the noise. Even if it is in a low mode, it is uh, quite loud. That's why it will be better to put it on schedule. You can press this button, arrange the hour, the minutes, and press it again. And then when you are out of your home, it will start to vacuum in auto mode and it will stop automatically. When you are vacuum by yourself, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to clean your home. That's why I don't care about the noise of the vacuum. But uh, when the Robo Vacuum needs about one hour to clean all your home, that is a big matter for me. That's why you can adjust the schedule. You are outside for your work activities, and it can uh, clean your home. That was all, guys. It cost about 149 euros. And if you need something like that to your uh, place, to your home, to clean your home when you are uh, away, well, I think it is a right choice to buy it if you don't matter about the Wi-Fi connectivity and control it from your smartphone. And with all that, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like which like my video is your choice. Share this video, you never know who made it, and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.